What's going on guys? So we got a ganking guide today and I'm going to show you guys what everything that's going on in the practice tool. I'm going to show you guys how to do stuff in the practice tool, but before we do that, I just want to mention three things. This is not this is not like about the channel. This is about the guide, how to gank, okay, all right? So there are three important things that you have to know when ganking. You need to know how much CC you have, you and your laner have. You need to know how much escape potential the enemy has and you need to know how much burst you have. Those are the three main things. There are other variables that are dependent on champions and level and obviously who's fed and who's not. But these are the three main things that will never change. How much CC you have and how much burst you have and then how much escape the enemy has. If you are playing Jax, that's good CC. If you're playing Master Yi, you better be looking for a gank that, uh, that their laner has no health because you don't have a, a lot of time. Even with Graves, you're reliant on a slow, I'll admit to Rengar pre-6. You don't really have a way into the lane, you don't have a dash or anything. So you can't even really get in there, which is kind of rough, so you need really good circumstances. But those are the three main things, are CC on your team, Escape on their team, Burst on your team. If you can burst them down quick, if you have double T-Lords, you have Pantheon top, and you have Elise in the jungle, and you guys have good CC too, and then the enemy is really any champion if against the Pantheon and Elise is going to have a rough time if you both chain your CC properly, then it's guaranteed summoners. A guaranteed summoners, and if they don't burn their summoners, then they're dead. Unless it's Fizz and he E's and then flashes, but even then you got his summoner. So those are just quickly the three main things you got to know when ganking. Just think about those things and really decide on what's going to happen. Because if you're going to gank a mid lane and the enemy is a LeBlanc or a Katarina or a Fizz, you are not getting a kill there. Even an Ari post 6, she will dash away every single time. It's a hard, hard lane to gank. So just keep in mind those three things while you're ganking and you should be successful. All right, welcome. Today we have our ganking guide and it's pretty, it's not too, too crazy. There's not too much to it, but we're in the practice tool today just so I can show you guys exactly what's going on. So right now I'm on Jax just because he does have a nice amount of CC and he's able to play ganks, in my opinion, pretty nicely. So, if this is what your lane is looking like, we're using top lane as an example, since mid lane's a little bit different, I find that there's a lot of champions that can just wiggle out of gank situations, and then bot lane there is normally two people there. So top lane's just a nice one-on-one -on -one example, so when you come in for a gank, it'll be 2v1. So top lane, if they're in a position like this, and you're ganking level 3, your pre-6 lanes are fairly similar so maybe they both pushed about the same and you can't really tell a difference between them like nobody has clearly pushed harder than another like the second wave's coming in but there's still a shitload of blue minions I don't know so in this situation nobody if they're both locked here there's a pretty low chance that they've come to put a ward down because they've been focusing on farm anyways so it's pretty safe if you want to just walk in this way but keep in mind that's for somebody who has a good amount of CC like Jax. So he is kind of far away. So all you really got to do is just walk in from the side, pop your E, Q, E, stunned. And now you have lockdown for your top laner to come and take, to come and poke him with. And really, you're, most times you aren't going to be the only one with CC. Your top laner will have some form of crowd control. If you have a Camille top, then she can, when you stun the target, she can E away and then E back and stun him again, or whatever it may be. If it's a ribbon, then she can just unplug her brain and just stun him regardless. Now for something more like this, this is a really easy lane to gank for. Excuse me, if there are no wards. If there are no wards here, this is a dream. Because all you, you, lit you just literally walk in, and he's, he's gone. Just like that, it's really, really simple. However... If there is a ward in the bush, at least what I like to do, there's just a, like a pretty simple way to, to really surprise your enemy. Since the bush is warded, if they place a ward here, which is what I recommend you do, by the way, if you're putting it in the bush, because then you get more vision down here. You can see somebody coming in a little bit sooner. 
and it covers a bigger area because you don't need a, a ward right there. What you can do, instead of having them letting them see you when you get to here, you just pop the plant and now you're in the bush. They start to run back now because they see you. It's just util utilizing the blast cone plant so you can get into the bush. Sure, they have a ward in here, but they don't see me until I'm already in the bush. So instead of them noticing me all the way back here and then running, they notice me all the way up here. And now they start running, and now we're back to the centerpiece because he's only right here. Now lastly, we're going to go to the same spot here. This is a pretty simple spot because you're not looking for ganks if they're pushed back to their turret unless you have really good dive potential like Elise or if you're playing Kled Jungle then that's not that's a pretty good uh, tower dive as well since you can easily trade aggro with uh, with Kled as long as you take the aggro first. Basically what I'm doing here is taking this jungle this path here all the way around into tri bush since this bush is warded. So if this bush here is warded, we'll just spawn a target dummy. Never mind, we'll spawn an allied dummy. There we go, that bush is warded. Just ignore those two people in there. That bush is warded, so we get, and we have no blast cone. So we can't go in from here, and they're pushed up. If I know that the jungler is bot lane, that their jungler is bot lane, or I am stomping lane, I have... Um, I've already got two kills, their jungler is in a really bad spot, he can't really do anything if I come into the jungle, so if I see the jungler, I'll just kill him anyways, or at least push him out of his jungle. Then I come all the way around, I can go into Tri Bush, and now it's up to you guys, if there is a minion wave spawning here, like if it's coming in, then it's up to you really what you do, but you can come in from here. Really, I know you're walking into the ward as soon as you get to about here, maybe even here, but the difference between walking from or being seen here and being seen here is pretty it's a pretty big difference since now if they're gonna start running back if they don't tunnel and all I have to do is walk like this is just walk perpendicular to them instead of trying to cut them off like if I were to walk in here if I was spotted here I'd have to walk diagonal like this and maybe loop but if I get spotted here I just have to walk into a straight line and then catch them and now I'm if they tunneled now I'm behind them and it's a free gank so really using tribe bush and using the blast cone is really really good for any sort of gank before the video ends I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry if anything sounded strange like if a sentence was cut off it's because I was like look what you said after that was stupid and I didn't like it so I'm gonna cut it off there and if I said like I instead of R I'm sorry, I went and recorded that live on the practice tool, and uh, yeah, so just give me a mulligan on that one, alright? But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you need me to explain anything more in depth, then you can just let me know in the comment section, or whatever it is, and then uh, stay tuned for Warwick and Ivern guides coming soon.